And tonight, we're looking back at the governor's life of service through stories from those who were close to Ray. Local 5's Erica Rankin is live outside of the governor's mansion tonight after speaking with his former chief of staff. Erica. Governor Ray was actually the first governor to live here at Terrace Hill. He was described to me as a great leader and a true gentleman. Today, the community mourns the loss of a man who not only did so much for the state of Iowa, but the world itself. Robert Ray today ended the longest term of any Iowa governor, 14 years. So he was a father figure, among other things. He was a mentor. Uh, he was a good friend who I could talk to on, on matters, or he could... He could uh, be helpful to me in a, in a personal way. David Oman was on Governor Ray's chief of staff when he was in office. His word was good, he was trusted, and when he said something had to be done, generally they gave him the benefit of the doubt. But he was always willing to negotiate. Oman saw firsthand the impact Governor Ray had on Iowa. Everything that he did always had a forward spin to it. What, what can we do now that will make the state better in 20 or 40 years? Well, now we are. 20 to 30 to 40 years beyond, and we're still reaping the benefits of his leadership. Even if his decisions were not popular in the public eye. Dealing with a farm crisis in Iowa and refugee and immigrant relocation from our Thai Dom population to the Bolt people to the Iowa Shares Initiative. And at the time that happened, it was not popular within the state of Iowa. But Governor Ray believed it was the right thing to do because people were dying and they needed our help. Scott Raker is the executive director of the Robert D. and Billy Ray Center at Drake and can testify to Governor Ray's legacy he left on campus after he was president. He'll be noted, I believe, as a legacy of civility, of ethical leadership, and doing the right things for the right reason. Governor Ray knew how to work with everyone. He understood that this state's basically one-third R, one-third D, one-third independent, and nobody can dictate. Governor Ray opened the eyes of many. He, he broadened my horizon dramatically, and he showed one how to live in public life in the public square so to speak which is tough and on governor ray's last day in office he left on a high note after the press hosted a party and he finally said goodbye i will be forever grateful for the opportunity to have served and led iowa during these exciting times but for now let me just simply say thank you again and goodbye Governor Ray left behind a wife, three daughters, and eight grandchildren. Omen tells me that he will miss having someone like Ray around. Live on Terrace Hill, Erica Rankin, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.